In 2023, a young pirate and crew embark on a perilous quest for lost treasure, braving sea monsters and formidable foes. 22 years earlier, Pirate King Gold D. Roger was captured by Vice Admiral Garp after hinting at One Piece, marking the Great Pirate Era. Monkey D. Luffy, seeking the treasure, hides in a drifting barrel, beginning his epic journey when rescued by a passing ship. Luffy's barrel joins a pirate clash between Captain Alveda and a rival ship. Luffy's presence is discovered, and Kobe, a reluctant crew member, helps him escape. A battle ensues, Luffy's rubber powers prevail, and Kobe's allegiance shifts. Together, they sail toward the Grand Line. Determined to escape their captors, Kobe and Luffy set sail for the Grand Line together. During their journey, Kobe learns about Luffy's extraordinary abilities. Luffy shares his childhood dream of joining Shanks' crew and how he scarred his face to prove his readiness. His life changed when he ate a mysterious devil fruit, gaining the power to stretch his body. Inspired by Kobe's dream of becoming a naval officer, Luffy heads to a Navy base to help him achieve it and find a map to the Grand Line. In the City of Shells, they dine at a restaurant and meet Roronoa Zoro, a skilled swordsman. A confrontation with Helmeppo ensues, and Zoro effortlessly defeats him, showcasing his prowess without drawing his sword. Captain Morgan's son instigates officers to attack Zoro, but he subdues them without unsheathing his swords. In the chaos, Nami, a young girl, seizes a chance to steal a Marine's uniform. Zoro then meets Captain Morgan, the feared pirate hunter of the East Blue, who congratulates him on his bounty hunt success. Captain Morgan acknowledges Zoro's skill, but demands a seven-day sentence for attacking Navy soldiers before receiving his bounty. Zoro reluctantly accepts, enduring Helmeppo's taunts. He vows that Helmeppo will beg for mercy upon his release. Nami infiltrates the base in a stolen uniform to find a Grand Line map. Luffy stumbles upon Zoro and, recognizing him, invites him to join his crew. Zoro declines revealing he survives by hunting pirates. Nami's search ends in a battle with two marines, whom she defeats and conceals. Overhearing their talk, Luffy realizes Nami is another intruder, and they decide to team up. Evading capture, they reach Morgan's office. Nami claims to be escorting a pirate to prison, duping Axe Hand and stealing the office keys. Meanwhile, Zoro chases Helmeppo to retrieve his sword, choosing to give him a haircut. In the office, Luffy assists Nami in locating the map, locked in a safe. Morgan detects the intrusion, attempting to break the door. They grab the safe but crash out the window. Facing Marines, they unite and defeat them, with Nami, Luffy's rubber limbs, and Zoro's three swords. Confronting Captain Morgan, they engage more officers, Nami taking them on as Luffy and Zoro strategize. Zoro immobilizes Morgan with three swords, allowing Luffy's rubber leg to deliver the final blow. The swordsman secures the safe after defeating the old man, and Nami commands a boat for their escape. Helmeppo reappears, threatening them with a gun, but Kobe swiftly knocks him out, choosing to stay at the Navy base. They part ways. Late at night, Nami finally cracks the safe, finding the map. However, they're ambushed, and red smoke renders them unconscious. Luffy swallows the map before losing consciousness. Upon awakening, they're in a wooden crate, revealing a captive town. Buggy, the circus master, plans to steal the Grand Line map and interrogates them individually. Luffy becomes the target of public torture. Bound, he resists revealing the map's location. When Buggy uses a young boy as leverage, Luffy breaks free, defending the child against cruelty. Buggy reveals his devil fruit power, which lets him dismember his body. He uses red smoke to knock Luffy out, who wakes up in a glass box filled with seawater. Devil Fruit users weaken in the ocean, but Luffy refuses to surrender the map. Luffy recalls a childhood memory when Shanks rescued him from a sea monster, losing an arm in the process, cementing their bond. In the present, Luffy remains trapped. Zoro faces interrogation but distracts Kobe, allowing Nami to free herself and Zoro. They rush to save the straw hat. Nami shatters the glass, and Luffy expels the map. Buggy attacks, but Luffy's clever plan traps him in crates. With teamwork, they defeat Buggy, retrieve the map, and free the villagers. Their next destination, the Grand Line. But they needed a ship. The team heads to the Gecko Islands, and Nami scouts the local security to plan a boat theft. Luffy stumbles upon the perfect ship and meets Usopp, who pretends to be a friend despite being a ship cleaner. At the mansion, Buchi isn't pleased to see Usopp, but Kaya, the owner, welcomes them to her birthday party. 
Clahador, her butler, isn't thrilled. Usopp secretly visits Kaya, giving her a gift. She coughs, finding relief in Clahador's tea. She fell seriously ill three years ago. In the ballroom, Nami meets Mr. Mary, Kaya's financial advisor. As Kaya turns 18, she's to inherit her parents' estate. Mr. Mary warns her about documents, but Clahador interrupts. Dinner features a special suit, but Kaya coughs and retires. She invites Usopp and her friends to stay the night. After the party, Clahador approaches Mr. Mary, anticipating his opposition to Kaya transferring the shipyard. In a shocking twist, Cleador stabs Mr. Mary in the back, leaving his body in pieces. Meanwhile, Buggy, who sacked a town belonging to Arlong, is captured by one of Arlong's henchmen. To save himself, Buggy offers information about the Grand Line map. In the early hours, Luffy and Zoro search for food and rum, inadvertently bumping into each other en route to the kitchen. Nami seizes the chance to pilfer from the mansion, but surprisingly finds understanding from Kaya. Nami and Kaya strike up a friendly conversation, forming an unexpected friendship. In the kitchen, Luffy and Zoro encounter Usopp, who reveals the mansion's wine cellar in the basement. Zoro asks Usopp to guide him, leaving Luffy to enjoy a pot of soup meant for Kaya. As Usopp explores, he stumbles upon Mary's lifeless body, and Clahador, Captain Kuro of the Black Cat Pirates, reveals himself. Zoro prepares his swords, but Sham sneaks up from behind, attacking him with a bottle. Usopp escapes, rushing to find help. Usopp encounters Kobe and Helmeppo, now Navy cadets sent to capture Luffy. Believing they're on the side of justice, he reveals Luffy's danger and asks for help in arresting the butler. After talking with Kaya, Nami finds Luffy unconscious in the kitchen. Clahador and his henchmen arrive, and Nami must confront them. Hidden, Nami realizes the poison soup was meant for Kaya. Usopp exposes Clahador as a pirate, but the Marines need proof. Hameppo discloses their mission to capture Luffy, and Clahador hands him over to divert them. Nami attacks Sham, while Usopp warns Kaya. They escape through a secret passage but are pursued by the butler. Evading his attacks, they reach Kaya's parents' room. Zoro awakens and climbs to the surface through a well. As they head back to the Navy ship, Kobe begins to doubt Usopp's claims. Suddenly, Luffy wakes up after expelling the poison soup. Recovered from the poison, Luffy and Zoro reunite and return to the mansion. Clahador arrives, prompting them to eavesdrop while he searches. Realizing they can't hide, Kaya and Nami confront the enemy, but are captured. Zoro battles Sham and Butchie, while Luffy faces Clahador and defeats him with his swords. They split up to find their friends. Luffy dodges Clahador's attacks and throws him out of the mansion. With imposters captured, they flee as the Navy learns of their presence. Grateful, Kaya gifts them a ship and invites Usopp to join their journey. They bid farewell, setting off to the Grand Line. Suddenly, Luffy's ship is attacked by his grandfather, seeking to capture him. Furious, Garp hurls a cannonball at Luffy's ship barehanded. Luffy inflates into a balloon and sends it back, damaging the enemy's sail. This slows the Marines, allowing the pirates to escape and dock at the maritime restaurant Barati. Sanji, a skilled yet underappreciated cook, is relegated to waiting tables by Chef Zeph. He displays impressive martial arts skills breaking up a customer brawl. Realizing he lost track of Luffy, Garp contacts Mihawk, the world's finest swordsman, ordering him to capture Straw Hat. Mihawk, capable of obliterating a ship alone, believes his mission will succeed. That night, Myhawk arrives at Barati, where Usopp shares adventure tales with Luffy. Myhawk requests a crew introduction, revealing his mission to capture Luffy for the Navy. Zoro recognizes him and challenges Myhawk to a dawn duel, revealing his lifelong desire to fight the world's greatest swordsman. Zoro's dream is to defeat Mihawk and become the world's greatest swordsman. Myhawk accepts and schedules the duel for the morning. An anxious Luffy barely sleeps awaiting the battle. At dawn, Luffy meets Myhawk at the agreed location. The duel commences with Mihawk wielding a miniature sword, deeming Zoro unworthy to face Yoru. Despite injuries, Zoro's determination impresses Myhawk. Zoro draws his sword, destroying two blades and expecting defeat. Instead, Myhawk inflicts a deep cut on Zoro's abdomen, sparing his life. 
My hawk advises Zoro to keep training, promising another duel. Friends carry Zoro to the ship, and Luffy seeks help at Baradi. With no doctor, Sanji and Zeph use fish skin to tend to Zoro's wound. Arlong arrives at Baradi with his crew, demanding Luffy's location. Nami alerts Luffy and persuades Arlong not to harm him. Zeph's bullet fails against the shark. Kurubi attacks Zeph, and Sanji defends, but is defeated. Luffy confronts Arlong, but is overmatched and thrown out. Nami reveals she stole the map, and the crew learns her past affiliation with Arlong, preventing harm to Luffy. Zoro wakes up and learns of Nami's betrayal. Luffy, though hurt, believes Nami is another of Arlong's victims. They refuel their ship, ready to leave when Sanji decides to join them, chasing his dream. They seek Buggy's help, their official cook, to find Nami. Buggy guides them to the Fishmen's Sanctuary. Passing through a village, they discover Nami collecting taxes, even from her sister who despises her. Nami orders them to leave, but Luffy talks to her sister Nijiko, who reveals their village's tragic past, invaded by Arlong. To survive, villagers paid taxes, and Nami's mother sacrificed herself for her daughters. The group wonders why Nami works for Arlong. Nami claims she collected 100 million berries to buy Kokoyashi village. While collecting, Arlong orders Kurubi to pursue a navy agent, Nizumi, on the outskirts. Nami uncovers a chest at her mother's grave, revealing her plan to buy the village. Nijiko seeks forgiveness, realizing the truth. Nizumi, with other marines, confiscates the treasure, claiming it was stolen. Nami despairs as her life savings are taken, but Luffy and their friends arrive. Nami confesses her need for help, and her friends rally to her side. The villagers also come together in support. They invade the sanctuary, with Luffy and Nami confronting Arlong, while the rest face his followers. Usopp evades Chu in the forest and stumbles upon Arlong, leading to a showdown. Luffy, angered by Arlong's cruelty to Nami, defeats him. Outside, Zoro and Sanji continue battling their opponents, while Buggy regains his body and escapes. In the forest, Usopp dodges Chu's drink bursts, feigning defeat to attack with an explosive fire bullet. Luffy, realizing his blows do not affect Arlong, collapses the palace by destroying its columns. Arlong charges, but Luffy's rubber leg hits him, destroying the mansion. They assume Luffy perished, but he emerges from the rubble. Villagers celebrate their freedom, but the Navy interrupts, and Garp challenges Luffy. Garp, still disapproving of Luffy's piracy, defeats him despite Luffy's determination. Garp releases Luffy, orders Arlong's arrest, and Kobe informs Luffy of his wanted poster. Luffy receives a personalized sail as a gift, ready for the next adventure. His crew is complete, and they set sail, unfazed by the rising bounties.